Welcome back for another video. My name is Josh Kastik, and today, well, I'm going to be showing you my Star Wars collection. Um, obviously, I think in my standards, it is complete. You can't really get anything else DVD or Blu-ray-wise uh, Blu for Star Wars, except for the first season of Star Wars Resistance. You can get that, but it's kind of silly to buy that if you can't get the second season, which you can't apparently, because I looked it up. But um, I really, it it was an okay series. I don't think overall, I don't think it's one hundred percent necessary to watch. I don't think a lot of people watched it or care about it or any of the sort. So I don't think it really matters. So with excluding that, my collection is complete. And, uh, also, you can't get Mandalorian Season 1, so, you know, that cannot factor into this at all, because you can't get that on DVD, apparently. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, here we go with my Star Wars collection. So, obviously, first up is Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Now, I, a normal, a really huge Star Wars fan... Knows that you should watch the original trilogy. You sh I'm really sorry about that. Uh, fixed itself, but every time I lift this up, there's a lighting problem. I don't. Um, every a huge Star Wars fan knows that you should watch the original trilogy first because those came out first, and I get that. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I totally understand. Why you should watch the original trilogy first. Especially because it's just better than. Uh, mostly everything else. Except for the Clone Wars. I mean. The Clone Wars writing is really good. So. I mean I think original trilogy. Some fans would still think the original trilogy is better. Uh, my dad thinks the Clone Wars is better. He's not really much of a Star Wars fan. So who knows. But. Uh, I. But like I said, I get that, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I totally understand that. But me, I like watching things in order. Not release order, but chronological order. I just like doing that. Sorry about that. We lighting problems. But yeah, I like watching things in chronological order, so that's why I'm going to start with episode one. Next up is episode two. Attack of the Clones, um, you know, well, yeah, I mean, what else can you say about it? It's, I, I, I know a lot of people don't like Phantom Menace in Episode 2, and some in Episode 3, but most of people think that's the best one. I don't have a problem with the prequels, I think this is good, and, uh, I enjoy it for what it is. Uh, before we get to Episode 3, we have a TV show, because Episode 2 starts The Clone Wars. Obviously, the show I'm going to be talking about is Star Wars The Clone Wars. So, uh, obviously, f um, first up is the uh, movie, uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars The Movie, which starts off the series. Uh, next up is the first five seasons. Yep, this is the first uh, five seasons, one through five. See, I don't know, you should be able to, yeah, okay. Yeah, so seasons one through five right there. This actually opens up uh, with a magnetized, uh, it's magnetized, so it just clips. I uh, came with uh, a, uh, an art book. Uh, so like, you know, you can see Ahsoka here and some other art here. Then it says a viewing guide of the episodes, um, episode guide. You know, it tells you a little bit about each season. And then uh, it does talk about the the discs and the episodes and stuff like that and then we have uh now this starts it off this is the first box here uh seasons one through three but actually stops halfway through season three well i don't actually know if it stops halfway through but um basically the next box is three through five so you would assume that it cuts halfway through season three but it could split up season three in many ways. Well, it can only split up. In, it can only split up into two. But it can either be half or you know which one's whatever is bigger. Um, but this is obviously uh, three through five, and that's um, 
And so that's the complete two seasons one through five. Um, so. uh, next up on our uh, agenda is season six, uh, Lost Missions. Now, basically, this was kind of, well, I'm not sure to say if it's rushed, but obviously this season came out after Disney canceled Clone Wars just to finish it. You know, it wasn't as big. Season, the original season six was supposed to be bigger or whatever. And there was supposed to be a seven and eight. But uh, obviously they, you know, Disney canceled it. So they didn't get to that. Next up is Clone Wars season uh, seven. This is the last season uh, released on Disney Plus recently. Um, which I did do a review on. Now obviously... If you haven't seen it yet, uh, I don't want to go into spoilers, but at the end of this, uh, the last few episodes actually take place during episode three, um, basically, and they're designed to be watched after episode three, because obviously episode three has been out way longer than this, obviously, and so they can't step on the toes of episode three but some of the episodes add details to certain sequences to episode three and that's why it's necessary it's really uh necessary to watch those episodes after episode three uh just to let you guys know for those new viewers of star wars if you guys want to watch it um yeah i would stop uh when they start talking about order 66 that's when you kind of know that you need to stop and watch episode three. Um, there's also a scene where you have Obi Wan Kenobi uh, hologramming with Ahsoka. Basically, what he's kind of talking about something in episode three. So you kind, I think that's one of the first things we see with the connection between episode three and these episodes. So if you see that, definitely stop watching and watch episode three and then go back okay next now speaking of episode three here is episode three the best one of the prequels really good i mean it, you know you definitely should check it out um you know it's the prequels you know but you know it's really good i i really enjoyed this film so go watch it next up is uh I, there's no exact, uh, when I'm not 100% sure where Solo takes place. It could take place in, sometime during Star Wars Rebels or before it. I think it's just best to watch before Rebels. I mean, it takes place early on after Episode 3, I'm pretty sure. So, um, obviously, because the main character is Solo and he's like 30 something 35 i think is that right i think 35 in uh the new hope so obviously you know he's way younger than that maybe in his 20s low 20 i don't know per se uh but yeah definitely i would say watch it before star wars rebels um you know whatever it, it doesn't really matter i mean i think it's just better that way Next, speaking of Star Wars Rebels, I have all four seasons of Star Wars Rebels as for, uh, so this is season one, they got season two, season three, and then season four, so those are, this is actually pretty good, I mean, it kind of start off a, a little rocky, but near the end, the writing, everything, it, near the end, it just, it, the, it just got better as you go along. So definitely uh, check it out. Sorry to uh, interrupt uh, me or interrupt myself. I forgot to explain one thing about Star Wars Rebels. Is that the ending actually makes more sense if you watch, watch it after uh, the original trilogy. Um, not like I mean the very end it's kind of uh, Sabine uh, narrating basically events uh, that uh, took place um, so once you uh, start hearing her narrate uh, stuff 
Uh, I would stop that, watch the original, uh, you know, go along in the order I bit was talking, or the order I'm going to about to talk about, you know, uh, the next thing after Star Wars Rebels, but um, obviously watch that uh, ending part after the original trilogy because then it makes more sense, all right? So I just wanted to clarify that just so I didn't miss that. And yeah, so um, now let myself uh, continue talking with my collection. Next up is Rogue One. Now, Rogue One, actually, the ending literally leads right into The New Hope. So that's why that's where you should watch it. Watch this and then The New Hope, obviously. Um, so, yeah, and this is, like, one of the best, uh, well, at least most people would say this is probably the best Disney Star Wars movie, uh, so I definitely enjoyed it, um, so definitely go watch it, it's really good, so, I mean, there's not much else I could say. Next up is the original trilogy, as I only have th this box, so it's, uh, this is both DVD and Blu-ray, so New Hope, uh, uh, the, the Empire Strikes Back, and uh, The Return of the Jedi. Uh, so yeah, really good, uh, and go watch it. Next up is the sequel trilogy. Um, of course, I didn't get these on DVDs. I like both having Blu-ray and DVD because if my Blu-ray Blu-ray player goes out, I still have a DVD player, and you can't put Blu-rays on that. So if I want to watch the movies, I still can if they I own the DVD copy too. But um, so we have Star Wars the Episode Seven, The Force Awakens, Star Wars Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. You know, people don't really hate on this film. I and uh, I. I don't have a problem with it, except for Luke. Uh, yeah, I definitely think what they did to Luke was wrong. Uh, other than that, some of the other complaints which I've talked about I think are silly. Some of the other complaints that people complain about I feel like are silly and stupid. Uh, so, yeah. And obviously, uh, Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. So, yeah, that is my complete collection of Star Wars. I really enjoy Star Wars. It's my probably one of my biggest dreams. You know, I'm going to a uh, going to be a director. Obviously, my biggest dreams maybe one of these days. You know, either direct a movie of Star Wars or may have a TV show. I mean, I, I really don't care which one they make me do. I, I would prefer a movie actually, um, and. Uh, I'm obviously got a cameo in it. I mean, why not? I mean, I'm the Star Wars fan. Well, uh, you know, I would want to be the Star Wars universe, right? So, uh, yeah, that's one of my biggest dreams. Uh, you know, as becoming a director, it would be directing. But uh, after uh, Solo bombed, they're not doing any uh, upcoming director. They're only doing um, more experienced directors and... That's the bummer, um, you know, I don't, it might be way, way future in my career, hopefully, uh, if Disney still owns it, I don't know, I mean, uh, the way it's going, but, uh, you know, yeah, I, my, I'm, I don't want to give up on my dream, obviously, I, st I still want to direct one, but, uh, we'll see where my life, life takes me, you know, so... Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it or enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for my next upload. My YouTube channel website link and my Twitter is down in the description as always. And thank you. Goodbye.